First, we need our patient. Then, we need a linear probe. Now we're ready to begin the exam. Hi, I'm student Dr. Quinn and welcome to Ultrasound Advice. Today we're going to be talking about ocular ultrasound. There are several indications for this exam, including trauma to the eye, if you're looking for a foreign body, lens dislocation or globe rupture, any visual changes, if you're looking for retinal detachment or vitreous detachment. This exam can be used for suspected increased intracranial pressure as well. Recall your anatomy that the optic sheath houses the optic nerve just behind the eye and is actually continuous with the dura of the brain. With increased intracranial pressure, the optic sheath will actually increase in diameter. We have our patient look straight ahead, and then it's time to begin the exam. Using lots of gel allows us to perform this exam without putting too much pressure on the globe. Let's take a look at a normal eye. On ultrasound, we can see three fluid-filled structures in the eye the lens, the anterior chamber filled with aqueous humor, and the vitreous chamber filled with vitreous humor. The retina is the layer of cells at the back of the eye that allows us to see, and the optic sheath just behind it contains the optic nerve and CSF. To assess for increased intracranial pressure, we measure three millimeters behind the retina and then measure the diameter of the optic sheath. If it's greater than 5 millimeters, it likely represents increased intracranial pressure. So remember, 3 back, 5 across. Let's look at some abnormal images. Here we have a fairly obvious lens dislocation, where the lens has been torn away from the ciliary body. Here's an image of a globe rupture. You'll notice that it isn't a nice round globe shape, and that the anterior chamber has almost completely collapsed. These two images are of retinal and vitreous detachment. I'm showing them side by side because they can look a lot alike. Retinal detachment is an emergency situation as it does put the patient at risk for permanent vision loss. The vitreous detachment is not an emergency as it's normally not sight threatening. It's also a much more subtle finding on ultrasound. Retinal detachment has a much thicker membranous appearance while vitreous detachment kind of looks like a spider web. Another distinguisher is that the retina is anchored to the optic nerve, whereas vitreous detachment can peel off anywhere. This concludes our tutorial on the ocular ultrasound. And I'll see you later. Okay, that was probably.